Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today I'll be going over enabling and configuring Content Organizer in SharePoint 2010. First, a few comments around the Content Organizer feature. So the Content Organizer feature enables you to automatically route documents to different libraries and to folders in these libraries. You can also use it for day-to-day -day administration tasks, such as make sure that no folder in a document library contains more than 5,000 items. Administrators and users can use the Content Organizer site-level feature to classify, route, and store content by using rules that are applied based on metadata. After you activate the Content Organizer feature, you configure the settings and rules. So instead of directly uploading a document to a library, your users can now save, route, and apply rules to these documents. The Content Organizer rules are the center of your routing and storing content based on metadata. So the conditions and the rules that you create determine whether a rule should be applied to an item or not. If the, the rule is applied, then the target location uh, basically uh, that you specify determines where the items are going to be sent to. The target location can be a site, a library, or even a folder within uh, a library. So let's go ahead and get started. I've created a couple of sites just for demo purposes. I created a sending site and I created a receiving site. Your users are going to be interacting with the sending site and they're going to upload documents to the sending site. And based on the rules, again based on the metadata, if it meets the rules, conditions or not, the content will either sit on the sending site or will be sent to the receiving site. So let's, uh, let's get started. I'm going to go switch over to my sending site. <coughs> And within sending site, I'm going to go to site settings. We're going to go to manage site features. And we're going to activate the content organizer feature in here. And then if I go back to site settings, you're going to notice under site administration, I have a couple of extra links, content organizer settings and content organizing rules. I'm going to click on content organizer settings. And then under the sending to another site, just make sure that we allow users uh, to specify another site as a target location. And uh, we'll go ahead and just click on OK. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing for the receiving site. We're going to go to site actions, site settings, manage site features activate the content organizer go back to site settings make sure we have those two extra links content organizer settings and content organizer rules we're gonna go into content organizer settings and under the folder partition we're gonna go ahead and select the create subfolders after a target location has too many items again this is kind of your administrative tasks in here and then under submission points, all the way towards the bottom, we're going to grab this URL right here and we're just going to copy it. Okay. The next task will be to create a new send to connection. So for that, we're going to start launch central administration. And then from within central administration, click on general application settings we're gonna under external service connection we're gonna configure send to connection under the connection settings here we're gonna give it a name so this is going to be our HR docs we'll route everything that's HR right through here and then the send to URL we're gonna go ahead and paste that URL we just copied and then we're gonna go ahead notice there is a send to action so you can copy or you can move uh, the documents for now I'm just gonna go ahead and select copy and then we're gonna go ahead and add the connection and to confirm that it has been added, just scroll to the top here and notice the send to connections. Now we have HR 
docs. So that's all good. We're going to go ahead and uh, click OK and go ahead and close central admin. We don't really need central admin anymore. Let's create a new content organizer rule. So let's switch over to our sending site. Uh, we're going to go to site actions, site settings. Make sure that you're there. And then we're going to go to the content organizer rules. And we are going to add a new rule. So this rule will be copy HR docs. And then uh, we're going to scroll to the bottom here, submission content type. We're going to change that to a document content type. I don't have any custom content types in here, but if you have specific custom content types, you could specify them in here, and then the filter will be based on whatever attribute that content type has. So the content type is document content type. The group is document content type, and then the type of it is going to be document. So you could apply this to pictures, you could apply this to uh, basic pages. This is based on this parent being document content type. So we're going to say document. And then in the conditions section, we are going to say based on the title of this document, if the title say, uh, let's look for begins with, and I'm going to say HR. Now, obviously, when you're configuring this for your custom content types and your custom attributes, you could go dates, you could do, exp basically, I'm thinking of expiration dates, you could do other metadata if values are met, and notice the operators in here is equal, not equal, greater, less, and that's based on, on the fact that this is property title that I've chosen. So value HR, so that's going to be our value. And then let's go to that target location. We're going to change this, not a library or folder in this site, which is an option. We're going to change this to take us to the HR docs. That's the connection we're going to be using. And uh, that's all good. We'll go ahead and click OK. OK. So uh, that has been accomplished. Let's test the new content organizer rule. So for that, we're going to actually just minimize this. I'm going to create a couple of documents in here. So this first one will be HR doc. This is HR doc. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we are going to create a new document. And this is going to be none HR doc. And then I'll we'll just put some stuff in here. None HR doc. And go ahead and save this as well. Close out. Let's go back to our sending site and let's go to our drop off library. This is where your users are going to be interacting with the system going forward. This is how content is going to be routed through this drop off library. We're going to go ahead and add a document. We're going to go ahead and browse to the documents we just created. So here's my HR document. We're going to go ahead and click OK. You're going to notice a message that says, well, first of all, let's put the metadata in here. So you're filling out the metadata for this content type. And my rule is based on title. So make sure here that if you're following this, just title has something in it. We're going to submit. You're going to notice that it's going to be, it's going to give us a message saying this has been sent off to its final destination. Saved to final destination. So it's not here in the doc in in the drop off library. Let's add another document and this is going to be our non HR document. We'll go ahead and add this. We'll go ahead and give it a title and submit. And you're going to notice that here it says moved to the drop off library. So it's going to just sit in here in the drop off library as opposed to the other document has been copied over to our uh, receiving end to our send to our receiving end, which is our drop off library right here. And this is the HR document that we've uploaded. So this document that started with HR 
has been copied over to this receiving site based on the rule that we've applied after activating the content organizer feature. Thanks for listening in. This has been a recording of enabling and configuring content organizer in SharePoint 2010. Until next time.